Hi everybody, I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to be covering the original Orphan. He made his very first appearance in Batman, issue number 567, that was released in July 1999. But his most current iteration that I'll primarily be focusing on made his debut in Batman and Robin Eternal, issue number one, that was released in December 2015. His real name is David Kane, also going by the alias Texas Dave. And he's an American bad guy that has brown eyes and brown hair, being well known as one of the most highly skilled assassins in hand-to-hand -hand combat, also being a master swordsman and weapons expert. We also have to add that he has Olympic level strength, speed, agility, and stamina, with a high intellect as well, which makes him the perfect tracker. Now, we first see Kane as a skilled and ruthless killer who worked for the shadowy underworld figure known as Mother. He was the crown jewel of her organization, being the best operative out of all of her kidnapped children that were brainwashed into becoming her obedient agents. After becoming her top lieutenant, Kane would take on the codename Orphan and would faithfully, without question, serve as her assassin, many times fighting one-on-one -on -one with Batman whenever the Dark Knight got in the way of her schemes for world domination. And it must be noted that Kane could always hold his own. Over the years, Kane himself would become obsessed with raising and training his own perfect protege, actually deciding to implement his brutal training regimen on his own daughter named Cassandra. He would constantly train her rigorously, desensitizing her to violence and refusing to let her speak or write, instead making her quote-unquote listen to body movements and react accordingly, also ingraining into her that sympathy was a sign of weakness. The end result of all of Kane's misguided hard work would be his daughter becoming an apex assassin just like him, if not even better. However, Cassandra would eventually become disillusioned with her father's influence and would flee to Gotham City seeking asylum with the Bat family. The end result of this would be Cassandra becoming Batgirl, which Kane would take as the highest disrespect that his daughter could ever do to him. These hard feelings would be exacerbated even more when Kane went to Gotham City to take out the hero Bluebird and his daughter Batgirl would intervene, cutting off his hand. But Kane is resilient and he would manage to escape to Mother's nursery facility in Prague. Here, his hand would be replaced with a powerful cybernetic one, but now he would definitely add his flesh and blood to his long list of targets. Now, due to his abilities and his influence on the DC Universe, for my 1 to 10 rating, I'll give Orphan David Kane a rating of 4, which is a rating of Journeyman. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you next time. Be sure to like, subscribe, and join the new Sage.